A new ride share service is rolling into town, but this one is just for kids. It's called Kango, and it's more than just an Uber or Lyft. It's also a child care service. News 8's Amanda Shotsky spoke with the company's creator. She joins us now with reaction from local parents. Amanda? A lot of people talking about this one. The creator of Kango is a busy working mom who came up with the idea out of a necessity in her own life. Now, if you need someone to pick up your kids or watch them for a few hours, well, there's an app for that. Most parents will tell you Let's go. navigating work and the kids' schedules can be a rough road. My husband and I just basically don't see each other very often. You're just always late or you're always trying to figure out something. Monique Garcia is a teacher. She also has two children under the age of four. I work full time at a school, so how would I get my son from preschool to a daycare? So when we told her that a rideshare service just for kids has arrived in San Diego, she was immediately on board. I think it's a really smart idea. I kind of wish I thought of it. It's called Kango, and the busy mom who did think of it is CEO Sarah Scher. I tried and failed to solve the problem myself, and so I wanted to try to help other parents like myself, but including uh, my own family. Like similar services, Kango is an app to arrange pickups and drop-offs. I'm Janet. Nice to meet you. I'm your Kango driver today. What sets it apart is it's also a babysitting service and the only one licensed to drive children under the age of five. Kango is essentially childcare on wheels. You can keep track of our ride right on the app. Kango is already up and running in several northern California cities, gaining rave reviews. But some parents have also voiced real concerns over safety. For me, I don't know if that'd be a good idea. I'd be so worried about who is going to be picking them up. Cher assures each driver goes through a rigorous vetting process, two background checks, DMV check, fingerprinting, two in-person interviews, and they must have previous experience in child care to even apply. Bye, have a good day at school. So far, the idea of having one less thing to worry about is already driving the interest of parents in America's finest city. Something as simple as taking someone somewhere, I think would just alleviate a lot of stress, at least for me. I will probably use it. So when it comes to price, people are asking. The rideshare service starts at $16 an hour and sitter service ranges from $15 to $20 an hour. Of course, you can find Kango at the App Store right now. Definitely a convenience for parents who really need it. Definitely. And the whole idea is that a nanny or babysitter wants more hours. They're not just going to want to be hired just to pick up or drop off kids. Yeah. Right. But right. of course, there's a concern. A little leap of faith. Yeah, although but, there is any time you, you drop your kids yeah, off anywhere, really, anywhere. Or have somebody at your home to look after them. So oh, we this were just is another one. Yeah, we were having we were discussion. talking about this when we don't even know. I mean, who's your bus driver? Right. Who is the person that drives your kids to the after school program? You hope that they're vetted. Right. This one, they are vetted. So they show you their work. Yeah, interesting stuff. All exactly. Right. Thanks, Amanda. Thanks, Amanda.